Find the total surface area of the eighth of a sphere. Okay, this is an eighth of a sphere. And, okay, so when you originally see it, it looks something like this on the program. Okay, probably like that. And so, but you should play around with these things a little bit just to get an idea um, of their size and, you know, what they really look like. Okay, so play around with the shape. You know, try and, try and get an idea of what it really looks like in your head, right? Okay, so... I like looking at them transparent and then, you know, with the different colors, just so I can get a really good idea of what the shape really is all about. Okay, so now I'm going to do, go do my calculations. So um, I want to find the total surface area, and to find the total surface area, I'm looking at the rounded bits, like the outer, the outside of it. Okay, this is like if you have an orange and you cut it into, you cut the orange in half, and then you cut the, the half um, into four pieces. Okay, so that's one eighth of a sphere in total. Okay, so then um, you end up with the parts you know that have the orange peel. Okay, so that's the round bits, and then you have the parts that have been sliced. Okay, those are the flat bits. Okay, and you end up with three flat bits. Okay, let's just have a look at those. Okay, and there they are. So, and each one is a quarter of a circle. Okay, so that's a quarter of a circle. That's a quarter of a circle. So those are your three flat bits, and altogether they make three quarters of a circle. So if you rotate it this way, you can kind of really you know, see the, the shape. I'm just going to make that solid for a second. Okay, so you can see that it's one quarter of a circle and that there are three of them. Okay, let me just rotate it this way. Okay, so there are three of them and we can see there's one, there's the other quarter, and then the other one is way down here. Okay, um, there we go. I'm just going to rotate it so we can see all three at the same time. So, three quarters of a circle. And so that's the, uh, the flat bits and the round bits. We just have one-eighth of the surface area of a sphere. Okay, so one-eighth of the total surface area of a sphere plus three-quarters of a circle. So the total surface area, area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. So we have one-eighth times 4 pi r squared plus three-quarters pi r squared. Okay, so the one-eighth times 4 becomes four-eighths. Okay, and we can reduce that all the way down to a half. But if I keep my common denominator, I end up getting two-quarters, right? So I can rewrite my 1 8 times 4 as 4 8 which I can reduce to 2 quarters. Okay, and the reason I'm reducing it only to 2 quarters as opposed to, you know, like 1 half is so that it'll add nicely to the 3 quarters. Okay, so I have 2 quarters pi r squared plus 3 quarters pi r squared. It's like having 2 quarters of a chicken and 3 quarters of a chicken. Altogether, you have 5 quarters of a chicken, right? So we're going to do that. So 2 quarters plus 3 quarters, 5 quarters. Okay, which is one and a quarter, by the way. So we have five quarters pi r squared. Okay, so we have one quarter more than a full um, circle. Okay, and that's it. Five quarters pi r squared. Now I'm just going to use my handy dandy calculator. And let's clear that. So five quarters. Let's move that over here. So five divided by four times pi times the radius 3.8 one to the power of two equals okay so 57 point whatever whatever so 57 point I'm just gonna round this to like four or five decimal places I picked five decimal places and so the one tells the nine to to round down so you're leaving the nine okay and there we go there's my answer so I'm gonna go and plug that in and see what the computer thinks of that so I'm just gonna round it up to the nine and space, centimeters, squared. There's the square button. Yay. Okay, and that's it. Have a good day.